Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Um, the following is a dramatization I did of uh, just one out of the infinite amount of uh, possible SHTF scenarios that could happen. Um, I kind of made this video to start conversations about uh, different things that could happen and how uh, a national event could uh, affect day-to-day -day life for just average people. But that's what's coming up next. Hey everyone. I haven't had a chance to uh, post a video since everything took place. I'm kind of doing this for my uh, subscribers to let them know how we're doing up here in the north. And uh, kind of wanted to say to all my subscribers out there, I hope you guys are holding your own in all of uh, this that's going on. Um, I've been keeping a diary since everything took place. And I'm going to kind of read to you some stuff from that diary. Um, you'll have to forgive me. I've only been getting about... Uh, four hours of sleep or so a day so I'm kind of tired but I thought this was really important so I kind of wanted to uh, get this video out um, the first chance I get is as soon as I get some uh, internet service that I can get this uploaded but uh, it's been about 18 days since the president was removed from office I was at uh, work when it happened and uh, when the first stories broke uh, luckily it was the end of my shift so I uh, headed home right away um, they say he's under some type of house arrest at one of his properties, but nothing has been disclosed of what's going on. Within about uh, 18 hours has taken place, uh, news reports started coming out of uh, rioting breaking out, and nobody really has said uh, what, who these people are that are rioting, whether it's his supporters or it's just, uh, just people trying to cause trouble. Nobody really has any solid information. I guess we're still in the fog of war here several days later but the from the reports we heard the urban centers where the rioting was the worst was in dallas tampa la detroit phoenix houston indianapolis and hartford um, google and facebook have only been running uh stories that everything's under control and uh the first youtubers that uh we're posting videos and live streams to show otherwise. Those have all been taken down. I've just been heard, hearing rumors of the things that's uh, been going on. It's only been kind of adding to the confusion and stuff is what's been going on. Um, the news reports say that the vice president has been sworn in, but no pictures and videos have been released of this um, up to this point. Um, the morning after, um, a message was sent to all phones and I received this that a dust to dawn curfew uh, was in effect uh, for the safety of everyone. Uh, later that day reports started coming out that uh, debit cards were uh, failing as they did around here. Um, a lot of areas uh, that had Verizon, the networks uh, were having outages and uh, I was lucky enough that I had the uh, the next three days off to kind of watch things spiral out of control. Um, the riots had been growing, going on for oh, 24 hours or so uh, when reports started coming in that uh, insurrection had been called in several cities. Um, people were starting to uh, run to the store and they're buying everything. Um, the reports and some of the stuff we've seen here um, on the third day, uh, trucks were being attacked and uh, looted for their uh, supplies. The military started to set up uh, roadblocks and uh, checkpoints. That's when uh, reports of rolling blackouts started coming up. And as you can see, we don't have any electricity here right now. We've been getting electricity kind of sporadically uh, during the day for a few hours. That's kind of when we've been uh, trying to get some of our stuff done, some of our uh, like laundry and uh, those kind of things uh, taken done, uh, done when we could. Uh, there's no clear indication what's causing these uh, blackouts. Um, whether it's from the unrest or from cyber attacks. Um, we didn't really go anywhere for those uh, first three days or so <clears throat> uh, that I was off. We just kind of watched and uh, waited. Um, the stock market hit the uh, breakers a couple of times and uh, trading was uh, halted. My neighbor said that she couldn't get any money out of the uh, ATM. And then later that night, uh, reports came out that uh, due to people trying to take advances, advantages of the uh, bad situation, banks and financial withdrawals were being limited, but no set amount was given. So uh, that's kind of where we're at here now. Um, 
when I went to work, I found law enforcement. Uh, this was after my three days off. I, uh, I found that uh, law enforcement had set up a checkpoint at, uh, at a big intersection by where I worked. And uh, when I told them that I was reporting for work, uh, they immediately took me out of my vehicle and they searched me. Well, of course, I was carrying, a, you know, carrying my handgun for safety and stuff, and I, I was detained. And uh, I was trying to get a little bit of video, you know, what was going on when I was pulled up. And uh, they seen me uh, videotaping, and they took all my stuff away from me just as soon as they seen me, pulled me out of the car and searched. And I told them that I was just heading to work, you know, and kind of trying to document some of this stuff. But uh, they kind of uh, separated me from everybody else. And uh, I was uh, just held until uh, they called actually my work and then they verified that I was actually supposed to be there and uh, they kind of released me with a stern warning not to be videotaping anything and to uh, leave my weapon at home from now on if they came came through their checkpoint. So I was kind of a harrowing uh, little bit of time there but I was glad that I uh, got out with no issues. Um, when I got to, when I was allowed to go to work and uh, I got there it was quite the uh, it was quite the scene. Yeah, I have to forgive me. I'm just really tired, but I think this is important that I'm talking to you guys. But uh, when I was told there, uh, when I got to my shift, that my shift was only going to be uh, five hours long because you know it was winter time. It's winter time here, and the days are days are real short, and uh, they wanted all their uh, people home before. Uh, before the curfew so nobody could be uh, out on the roads and have any problems. Um, we just all kind of walked around work that day. Nobody really, really did much of anything. Um, the blackouts and the riots that continued for uh, the next three days, we kept uh, getting reports of it. There was no school, all the schools were canceled, no school buses ran, No, none of the kids were out. Pretty much everybody stayed home and that even reduced even more the amount of people that were at work because a lot of people were staying home with their children. Um, as uh, days went on, less and less people showed up to work and by the ninth or 10th day, there were uh, several attacks that took place that nobody really knew who did it. There was uh, refineries that were struck. There was uh, um, ports that were struck. You know, we heard uh, reports that the refineries were uh, were attacked in Port Arthur, Texas, and uh, and in uh, Louisiana and in Illinois. Um, a lot of fires going on. Uh, the major uh, the major ports that were attacked were were Long Beach and uh, Red Hook Terminal and uh, Houston. They were all having having serious problems. Um, people are starting to get scared. Um, Trucks going to the big box stores were uh, especially being targeted, you know, by groups of people as they were going through through in large areas, especially on the interstates. They could be spotted from long ways away, and they were they were pulling out and, and stopping these guys. It was it was bad. Um, a lot of the uh, a lot of the workers at the ports and a lot of the truck drivers were talking about going on strike and just not showing up for work because uh, because their safety was in jeopardy so that was kind of slowing down even more I mean supplies were getting less and less it was uh, about the same time that uh, the local uh, fuel stations were putting limits on the amount of fuel that you could get uh, five to ten gallons a day was the uh, most that they would allow for uh, non-commercial drivers depending on which station that you uh, went to I guess the average person really doesn't uh, matter is very important when with all this stuff going on everywhere um, while this was uh, going on there were other things that were taking place around the globe um, Russian warships were spotted off the coast of Connecticut and uh, there have been reports of Chinese and Russian air aircraft close to the closer in the airspace of Alaska and Hawaii another report uh, was that a uh, a hostile drone was targeted and destroyed in the vicinity of Fort Greeley, Alaska, um, which is kind of a forward uh, observation and uh, base where missile defense is. Um, Saudi Arabia pledged to keep oil uh, production up to try to stabilize the world market, but uh, shortly after um, those uh, 
those reports were made that they uh, came out and said that there were several attacks on uh, Aramco facilities um, in Saudi Arabia. I'm not sure which ones, but uh, that again is putting, uh, putting pressure on the fuel situation. Um, there are also reports that uh, the U.S. carrier groups are being uh, recalled and uh, elect, uh, electricity was actually cut in a couple of U.S. bases um, overseas. One was Camp Bonsteel and the other, the other one was Ramstein Air Force Base in, uh, in Germany. So the whole globe is uh, kind of on fire right now. Um, and uh, how have things been here locally for us? Uh, well, all commerce is pretty much stopped except between you know individuals and and neighbors pretty much. Um, last night uh, when the electricity was on on Google, I seen that the uh, the military had taken control of uh, all bridges over the Mississippi and Ohio rivers, and uh, we were told. <clears throat> We were told that uh, the blackouts and uh, the fuel situation was the reason why this was all taking place. Um, our local stations here have had very limited amounts, but I have had enough to uh, go to work a few times. Um, they said uh, the reason that we've been getting fuel here is because uh, we're in an agricultural area and that uh, the, uh, the transportation of those ag goods has uh, become paramount. So. Uh, the farmers around here are still able to uh, to get fuel. Um, I'm still I've still been working. I've been going in about five hours a day, about every other day. Um, the cash withdrawals from uh, the banks and stuff has been limited to eighty dollars uh, when the electricity is on, and uh, for f for food and fuel is uh, all that they're. Uh, pretty much is commerce is that's all that's what it's about right now is just the food and the fuel um, our local grocery store shelves are about half full the last time that I was up there but it was all local stuff it was all uh, stuff that was produced uh, kind of within uh, decent driving uh, radius of our of our place here um, the local gas stations and store they've been pretty much guarded most of the time from uh, local law enforcement and uh, groups of volunteers. They've been kind of taking shifts to uh, keep an eye on stuff. Um, if work stops and they tell me not to go home, I'm probably going to head up there and uh, take my shift keeping an eye on things as well with everybody else. I've uh, had uh, pretty good uh, pretty good uh, repertoire with uh, everybody here so if uh, they know I'm still working at the present moment but if that stops I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go up there and I'm gonna help, try to help them um, one thing uh, that I noticed here is uh, there's been a military presence at the local hospital um, there's been uh, oh I'd say between 50 and 60 personnel that are camped out at the back of the hospital. Now this hospital has a uh, has a helipad on it, and there's been helicopters that have been kind of going in and out, um, kind of frequently. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's just been here in the last few days that they've set up shop um, at that particular place. You know, one one bright one bright side of all this that I have to say is when the power's on. Um, Netflix is now playing all movies for uh, for free, and uh, you can pretty much watch any movie you want. They're, they're, I think they're doing that to try to keep people home, to uh, keep them off the streets, keep them out of trouble. Um, um, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a report of what was going on here uh, in my little area. I just uh, wanted to keep in touch with you guys and tell you guys that hopefully this will all blow over soon and we'll... Uh, we'll get things figured out but it's a good thing that we uh, had the stuff that we had when we needed I mean times are kind of bad right now but uh, there's always hope down the road guys but anyway this is modern refugee kind of signing out here uh, from the dark here in Michigan but you guys all take care of yourself